My expectation heading into the 2022 season was to win a championship. But one thing I know is that you don't win a championship in the preseason. You don't win a championship during your Florida trip. You don't win a championship after your first game of the season. You win a championship by taking care of every little thing every day. And that's the only way that big things can take care of themselves. So that's our mantra more often than not uh, in this baseball program has been take care of the little things and let the big things take care of themselves. My expectation for myself was to be patient. The reality is we hadn't played meaningful baseball since 2019. Our 2020 season was canceled due to COVID. Our 2021 season was abbreviated. We played 14 games and there was no New England Championship Tournament. So I realized that we hadn't played meaningful baseball in a long time. And we had players who really hadn't seen the varsity field in any meaningful way. So I really wanted to just establish a culture, the culture we had in place before COVID. Our 2021 senior class was a really strong class. Some of the best players we've ever Jonathan had. Jonathan Santucci, who plays at Duke University. Sebastian Mexico who plays at Fordham. Matt Sapienza who plays at Georgetown University. Jack Penny at Notre Dame. I could go on and on. Um, how'd you feel with the 2021 senior season? I couldn't give a shit, to be honest with you. I mean, I, I had trust in our team, and it was a new identity, but I knew we had some fucking dogs. Like, and I mean, and, you know, it was a big loss, and I love all those guys. I mean, they're my boys. Talk to them every day, but I didn't think it really mattered for us in terms of winning, like, we had the arms, we had the bats, I mean, I mean, it didn't really matter fucking more, so. Hey, I'll take us over the honey dairy. So I ball so hard, motherfuckers wanna find me, but first I gotta find me. What's 50 grand to a motherfucker like me? Can you please remind me? Fall so hard, this shit crazy. Y'all don't know that don't shit phase. And that's 
to go. Oh, for 82, when I look at you like you the gravy. Balls all up, where? We ain't need pro be here. Balls all up, since we here. It's only right that we be fair. Psycho, I'm Lybo, to go Michael. Take your pick, Jackson, Tyson, Jordan. Game six, balls all up, got a broke clock. Rollies that don't tick tock. All the Mars that's losing time. Hitting behind all these big rocks. Balls all up, I'm shocked too. I'm supposed to be locked up too. You escape, but I escape. You be in Paris, get passed up too. Balls all up, let's get faded. Live these for like six days. Gold bottles, soul models. Spilling ace on my sick days. Balls all up, let's behave. Just might let you meet gay. Shot towns, B rolls, moving the next. BK, balls all up. Um, yeah, I definitely thought there was something special about the boys, uh, the 2022 team. I mean, we were young, which was pretty sick, and we were able to get it done, but, I mean, we, we, we were all like so close to each other even like before the season i felt like we were all like we would hang out with each other outside of practice like it didn't matter like we were actually dogs with each other but as tight as we were as a group we still faced our trials and tribulations uh bridgeton being the first it was our first official game of the season and it served as sort of a test against all the work we'd put in during the off season our florida trip but this was the first game that counted for real. There were definitely some nerves going into the game, even though they weren't the best team. And thankfully, we put out a close win to get our season out on the right foot. Won't be trice, real name, no gimmicks. Two trailer park girls go round the outside, round the outside, round the outside. Two trailer park girls go round the outside, round the outside, round Get stomped by Obi, you 36-year-old boy 
muscle ever since Prince turned himself into a symbol But sometimes, man, it just seems everybody only wants to discuss me So this must mean I'm disgusting But it's just me, I'm just obscene hey, But just because we got off on the right foot doesn't mean that we didn't have our downfalls. How did we feel after the Dexter game loss? So that was, I think, our, our second game of the season. I pitched that game. I did not pitch well at all. I only went two and two-thirds innings with a lot of pitches. Um, I took that, that loss completely on myself, but I knew that – I think it's it helped us for the rest of the season because we couldn't expect to come out and just roll through teams if we didn't give it our all every game. So I think it was a, it was a good gut check there. The Dexter loss was definitely like kind of a slap in the face. Um, I think because of how well we did against all of the competition in Florida, we kind of we let ourselves get a little bit complacent you know maybe we we're looking at like the rankings too much um and just kind of expecting the fact that we had such good pitching we had all these dudes um that that would just carry us through the season but i think it was a much needed like just mental and physical restart for our whole team because we realized like oh shit we still gotta work to get to like where we need to be um and kind of a similar thing about Exeter. Obviously, it was later in the season, and we were already starting to roll a little bit. But, you know, we were still not getting the hits that when we needed to. Still a little bit sloppy in the field sometimes. Um, so Exeter also a huge, like, mental reset, especially because it was late enough in the season that, like, we were already focused on playoffs. So we knew that we really needed to wrap it together because there wasn't enough time to, like, just still be figuring it out. It kind of just forced us to get right into it. Um, so I thought both those losses were honestly super critical for the reason why we won. Um. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Now if you know what you're worth, if you want to get what you're worth. But you gotta be willing to take the hits. I'm in love with you. But the vibe is wrong. And it haunted me all the way home. So you never know. Never, never know. Never know enough.
you taking the pain away I heard you was giving your chain away That's kinda like giving your fame away What's wrong with you? I sit in a box where the owners do A boss is a road that I've grown into I love you to death but I told you the truth I can't just be with you, I'm only you Yeah, I got one virtual, got one in that dead The only two, man How many times have I shown it through, man? How many nights I've been woke? Swerving them potholes Not trying to pick up the wheels on the road, okay? Funny how life goes He thought he was sick, now he wiping his nose, okay? Soon as you give him your soul You blow up and they say you're selling your soul, okay? They want my life exposed, they wanna know about the highs and lows Well, summer all I did was rest, okay And New Year's all I did was stretch, okay And Valentine's Day I it's okay We'll see what's about to happen next, okay? 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 I, I knew for a while that I was gonna start the championship game um, So I was just kind of locked in the whole time I, I, I wanted it more than anything um, I was hoping that I was gonna get the start of the championship game And then on championship Sunday, uh, in our semifinal game I slid, this is an injury that happened to me. I slid into second base, terrible slide, one of the worst slides you will probably ever see um, if there's video of it. It was horrific. Um, and I jammed my shoulder um, and I got up and I felt sort of a pain in my, in my shoulder and um, I knew something was wrong and I was immediately like very scared.
greatest nightmare born from the prettiest dreams. Millions of people try to get on the scene. And everyone's selling their souls. Everyone's selling their Everyone's saying they won't, but they sleep walking dead eyes closed. LA Monster. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. Lord, save these people. They wasn't nervous at all which is like one thing I'll actually say like I, I thought it was really interesting for my me myself I'd like played really well in the game and uh like a lot of times like up in like tough situations you can like you can feel your leg shaking I don't know if you know anyone's ever had that kind of experience being a batter like tough spot you can you can feel your leg shaking a little bit um I actually didn't feel this and I felt this in the situations when I was going for 22 I, I couldn't feel comfortable to play like I was at that point where, like, I, I was not nervous at all to be up there at then, especially even when it was 0-2, I wasn't nervous. I was feeling confident in myself. I think that's what kind of gave me the, you know, the ability to just do what I had to do and just get a barrel on the baseball. And, um, you know, you get enough barrels, eventually the ball gets through, and uh, it, it got through. So it uh, it was a pretty special moment. That's right. Come on, Isaac. Oh. Yeah! Yeah! better for my kids and i ain't saying we was from the projects but every time i want to lay away or deposit my dad would say when you see clothes close your eyelids we was sort of like will smith and his son in the movie i ain't talking about the rich ones because every summer he'd get some brand new hair brain scheme to get rich from and i don't know what he did for dope but he'd send me back to school with a new wardrobe and hey hey 